first major PlayStation 4 exclusive of 2014 arrives next week in the form of infamous Second Son. In the run-up to this, we sat down with game director Nate Fox to talk about Sucker Punch's latest release. Let's start with uh, how Second Son's a whole new world, whole new set of characters, new plot, story, like that. Um, was it always the plan for you to move on from Cole after Infamous 2, or was this something that you decided afterwards? So I actually wrote the evil ending of Infamous 2 to be the canon ending. Oh, really? Yeah. And then we saw that the vast majority of people decided to sacrifice Cole. Mm. And since the the, game, the franchise is about choice and consequence, we said, eh, you got to let him be dead. So I was grumpy. I did not... I was, admittedly, I'll be honest, but now that we've switched over and we, we made Delson and, and have this new story with all the powers, um, I'm glad that we did it because it makes for a great point of entry for people who have never played Infamous. They're not going to feel like they've missed out or they need to know any backstory, because they don't. Yeah. However, if you did play Infamous 1 and 2, you'll notice a lot of things to make the game richer that somebody who hadn't played those would miss out on. Hmm. Um, and, I mean, like, part of this has meant that you can bring in Troy Baker and, like, you're actually using his actual face for the game as well. Um, and I think that's quite an interesting move. I mean, what was it that makes that the right move for you for this game? And also, like, for the industry as a whole, because we are seeing actors' faces in games a lot more. We really wanted to invest heavy into this um, facial motion capture system hmm. it takes the raw data and put all these little marks on Troy's face and record where every one of those dots goes and then move it from him to the game model which uh, is actually it's, it is different than Troy so you have to find a way to interpret where those markers are between the two models and we did this because it allowed us to get this really really subtlety in performance, mm. you play the cutscenes and you can see it. You know the, the way that the eyes move, or just that subtle reaction that mm. a, a human being has when listening to another one. That mm. you're just not going to get by hand animating it, and it's very present in the game. And that's just the raw motion data that we got off Troy. That hasn't been you know kind of massaged and animated. It's just who he is, and that reality I think draws people into the story. Yeah. Uh, similarly, you've also moved from like fictional renditions of uh, New York City with Empire City and stuff like that. Uh, why, why Seattle? Why a real version of Seattle and not a... I don't know what you'd call it. What would you call a fictional version of Seattle? <laughs> I could tell you. When we were talking about making it a fictional city, we hmm. called it Seaport. Well, that sounds a bit boring. Yeah, and actually, <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds laughably lame, right? Yeah. And I agree. Also, um, maybe a little bit too close to um, Saints Row's Steelport. Oh, good point. So you've dodged the bullet on that. Yeah, one. thank you. <laughs> we just thought if we're trying to make this really believable kind of universe, why are we not just going for a real city? You know, hmm. what's the point? And also, uh, Sucker Punch is located right next to Seattle, so we could go in there and um, take like lighting samples. Um, we could record the animals, wildlife, at different mm. times a day, put that directly into the game. Yeah. And so when you walk around the street, the spirit of the city is absolutely there. Mm. Um, now with the characters, with, with Cole, to some extent, you had a little bit of, not controversy, but just like a bit of a reaction to how some people thought he was a bit bland in the first game. The second game, you made some changes. People then didn't like the changes because they wanted the old Cole, who they thought was brand in the first one. With Delton, the change that you've made, not change, but the thing that's about him is that he has a beanie hat. So, in answering this question, could you, yeah. put, could you open this bag, yes. see what's inside, put it on, is there, is there a squirrel. live scorpion? <laughs> it's a squirrel, that's why it's a bit, it's a bit squidgy and fluffy. Ah. <laughs> I think that's killed him. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, here's the beanie. <laughs> you like me to put it on? you got to put it on. Okay. You've got you to smell it as well. Patchouli. You <laughs> Rasta. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. All right. 
Why have you given Delson a beanie? One of our writers is absolutely anti-beanie. He hates the beanie. I think he's probably going to get a stick cut out of the top hat. Just like hold it in front of the screen as he's playing. All right. <laughs> why Do you want to know beanie? why Delson has a beanie? Sure. It rains in Seattle, man. It cool. rains all the time. You need to stay warm. <laughs> it's not. It's not the Bahamas, dude. It's it's cold and it's. It's also, and it's what people wear in Seattle. I mean, it's the guys in my office, that's what they got on. I love it. I can see your lips, like, <laughs> quivering. All you want to do is laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining the entire studio all has Delson beanies. There's one person who's got, like, a rainbow-colored beanie. And <laughs> uh, there are a number of beanies. There's some beanies going down. Cool. I bet so, you look good in this beanie. Um, I'd probably be alright. It's a bit difficult for me to put it on, but yeah. <laughs> um, but will you have changeable hats? Because Tough Cub has um, threatened to boycott the game if there aren't changeable hats. If there Ooh. aren't customers. His name's Tough Cub, and his, uh, well, his nickname is Tough Cub, and he's a writer for the Sigma Axis. Mm -hmm. And he's threatened to boycott the game if there are not customizable hats. I, um, I can't wait for Tough Cub to play the game. <laughs> But will he? If you're watching Tough, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Cub, <laughs> please give it a shot. I think you'll be happy. <laughs> Mr. Cub. Okay, so um, with regards to, this is trying to put an interesting spin on something. With regards to like the graphical, graphical fidelity you've got out of the PlayStation 4, um, there's been a lot of discussions about 1080p, 60 frames a second, 30 frames a second. Instead of asking you why it's 30, or why it's 60, or why it's 1080p, what would the game be like if you had decided to go for 60 frames a second? What kind of effects would you have lost? Um, resolution. So that's it. You just have to have cut back to, I don't know, say 720p or something like that. I don't know. I've never really thought what would it take. I mean, that's the easy answer, right? Because that's mm. what PC games do. Yeah. Well, you just step it down. You find yeah, what you yeah, can, yeah, what yeah. you can live with. Yeah. Um, you know, I wouldn't want to compromise any of the particle effects because I think that's what makes Delson's powers look alive and real. Mm. And you can't, you can't sacrifice any of that. I mean, cruising around town and using those abilities is the chief game, or, sorry, the chief joy of the game. So that's not going to be it. And it's certainly I'm not going to cut down on the detail of the world because exploring all of the hidden things is, is, is fun. So that's not going to go away. What would you suspect would go away in a game? I mean, resolution seems like the oh, obvious thing. Yeah, it's resolution, uh, maybe like the amount of people you have on the streets, that kind of thing. What? <laughs> you need people on the street. Without the people on the streets, you don't feel like a hero. Unless you're mm. saving somebody, you're just some crazy... But I mean, you can be a bad guy. Killer. What? You can be a bad guy, obviously. There, there is the morality in the game, and you can choose between Even them. more. Now you really need the people in the streets, so you have somebody <laughs> to terrorize. <laughs> okay. I think of those people in the streets as sort of like the in-studio audience to your action. But without the laugh track. <laughs> they never laugh. <laughs> they mainly scream. <laughs> ah! 